Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an animal logo in Adobe Illustrator. It's really easy, so let's get started. Okay, in order to get started, I'm on Pixabay. This is a free stock website that allows you to download and use images using a Creative Commons license. You need to make sure if you're using stock photos to make sure it has a Creative Commons license so you don't get into any legal trouble with it. Uh, I'm going to be using a uh, picture of an animal here. Uh, that I'll be finding through this. There are many websites you can use. I like using Pixabay, Pexels, uh, Unsplash, or a lot of free stock websites, but uh, you can search all of them for whatever you need. I'm going to try to find a picture of a polar bear here. Uh, avoid clip art. You don't need clip art. Uh, using really good uh, poses of polar bears like this one will get you really good results if you can make a good symbol out of whatever position they're in. Uh, having a good stoic look for a polar bear will be ideal for me to show you guys how to make this. So let's use this one. It's a really good position for our polar bear. I'm going to copy it, bring it into Illustrator, and center it up. I'm going to lock it in place with Control 2. Actually, before that, I want to lower the opacity on it so we can see what we're doing. Lock it in place, and we're going to use that as a stencil in order to create a really good image of our polar bear here. So I'm going to go to our brush tool here. If you double click it, you can see some options for it. I'm going to set it pretty high on the smooth smoothing scale here. You can set it to center or really smooth, but uh, you want you don't have to be uh, really exact with this, but because by using this setting, you'll get like really smooth lines no matter how jittery your hand movement is. So I'm just going to start making shapes here that pretty much carve out a really good silhouette of the polar bear. You don't have to get too detailed here because any small details you make with it being smooth will pretty much get chunked out of it. See, just by doing that, I create a really good uh, curvy shape for the polar bear here. It's going to keep doing this. You don't have to be exact. I'm going to adjust it in a minute. Just the basic shapes. Feel free to experiment. Experimenting is always really good with this. See, just like that. Now, uh, we can go to our direct selection tool. And these basically create just uh, strokes for us here that can be edited like a pen tool. So we can click on it with the direct selection and move it around and lock it to other bits that we need spaces on. So this will help us later. I'm just going to keep connecting everything. You can hit Control Y if you need to see exact, exactly where these lines are going. So that you don't leave any spaces. And if you need to like join two together, you can highlight two of them like that, that are point to point, hit control J and it'll connect those together so they can be moved together. I'm going to move this down a bit. So we have a bit more of a flow going from the belly. You can move the handles of your anchor points too just the curves as well. I'll move the face a little bit so we have a bit more of an angle on the face. If you want to move just like uh, one of the uh, of the handles here, see how I'm moving both at once and it makes a lot of swiveling curves. You can hold alt and move only one side of it to get an angle like that. I want there to be a bit of a nose here. There to be a bit of a jaw as well, so we're going to do the same right here. Move this down. I think just like that. Now what you can do is you can highlight the whole thing, get rid of the stroke on it, and make it a solid color. I'm going to use black so we can see it properly. And see what happened here is that a lot of chunks are missing from this. Uh, let's go to our shape builder tool and see if we can fill these in. I uh, need to make sure 
that your points are not making any spaces like mine are right here. Should be good. Oops, still space missing there. Sometimes your shapes may not want to work properly, so you can use your direct selection tool. Just kind of try to fill it in like that. And with that, you should be able to connect them properly. There you go. Now, when I'm looking at this, the silhouette doesn't really show polar bear to me, so you want to add like a little bit of detail. This hump at the top is really uh, good to show that as a bear and not some other type of mammal. But in order to get a polar bear look, I want to give it a bit of a face here. So I'm going to go to my pen tool, set my fill to white uh, while the bear is not selected. Set it to white. I'm going to start like making some shapes here. About right here, I'm going to make a crescent shape to show an ear. Like that. You can adjust it if needed. Be as creative as you want. I'm going to make a bit of an eye. Eyes are hard to make sometimes, so you don't need to add one of these if you're not capable. I might not even make the best eye here in this example, but we'll see. Probably even flip this upside down to make a better eye. And if you ever have any jagged lines, I'm gonna do this more in a bit, but you can use your smooth tool here under your shape shaper tool. Just like drag it over your selected stuff and it'll um, adjust your points to give you something a little better. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to add a bit of a nose as well. I'm going to go from the edge. And if you ever need help uh, seeing like what you're doing, uh, in accordance to your sketch and the photograph below, not the sketch, you can lower the opacity of your main shape a bit. See, I'm going to use that as a guide. For the See, I was blind there. I actually got the eye in the right place. I go to the outside here and you can select it, use the shape builder and get that chunk off the end so it matches up with the edge of your polar bear. You can turn it white like other stuff. And give it a bit of a mouth too. Set your opacity back to 100. This is pretty good. Could be better. I'll shrink that down a little bit. And there we go. Pull the polar bear is almost finished, but to add a little bit of negative spacing here, not just with like small facial details, you can kind of cut chunks out of it wherever you think the uh, the lines continue for the bear. So I'm gonna load the opacity again, just so you can see. See how like from the neck, you go down to the uh, frontal uh, arm here that also goes up to like its shoulder area here. You can just cut these like curves out of it like this. Make sure your fill is set to white. 
and just create chunks right out of it. It'll look better in a second when we actually remove them with the shape builder, but if you can just continue these lines in a way to where it creates a negative space, it will look a lot better for you. you can actually continue this off of it so that you have this filled in. I'm going to continue his belly back up here too so we can see some distance going to the back leg. Try to make them around similar sizes so you don't have like really skinny lines and then really fat lines going through your uh, going through your icon here. Now with the feet, I'm going to do one more thing with the feet. We create a rectangle. I'm going to crease the opacity back up here so I can see it. I'm going to line this rectangle up with the feet, and I want to make the feet flat so they don't look like they're going all over the place here. We use a direct selection, select each anchor, and bring it up to our line here. Also grab the anchors here, the anchor handles, and line them up. Play around with it if you need to. Your feet don't have to be round like this and look like mittens. You can also put some claws on them if you wanted to make it look more like a ferocious bear. I'm going to leave mine a little simple to make it seem kind of calm. Because depending on the company you're making it for or whatever business you want, uh, you might want to have a little bit more ferocity to it or a little bit more calmness to help sell the product. Okay, this is almost finished, you can delete that. And we can hit Control Alt 2 to get rid of our photograph in the back. Okay, and select everything. Go to your shape builder and remove all this white you have on the inside. Do for the mouth and the nose, and even hit the eye and the ear as well to remove the white on the inside and make it see through through those details as well. And if you find any like jagged edges that you want to get rid of, you can select it, go to your smooth tool, and I'm going to smooth out the neck a bit so it's like a rounded neck. If you find your smooth tool isn't working too well, you can double click on it like we did with the brush tool earlier. See, mine's set to accurate. I'm going to set mine to out the middle, closer to smooth, and it'll smooth out stuff a lot easier. See that? Okay, that we are pretty much finished. You can set this to white if you want. And put it on a black background because white will convey as a polar bear a lot more if you if you're doing a polar bear. You can add some really cool colors too if you're doing like a parrot or something. Okay, just send it back. Uh, and set it to black. And there we have it. And lock that in place if you want to get a good look at it and get rid of our photograph. With that we're done. Thank you for watching. If you learned anything, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.